Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And look, look, look. Today is the day. You guys see it in the title. Ooh. Today we are going to make a OP08.5 tier list. It has been two months since we came out with a tier list when it comes to OP08. I'm not like all these other content creators that make tier lists for views. Nope. I do it when it's needed. And right now it's needed because the structure decks come out next week. Everybody just celebrate. Let's get it. <laughs> yes, sir. So like I said before the cut, we got a brand new tier list gonna go over. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. OPO 8.5 tier list begins now. Tap in, get your snacks, get your drink and pull up. It's about to be a movie. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So welcome back. It's time for us to do this tier list. But before we start, let's go over these tiers. We don't have none of these boring type of tiers that everybody else has. Nope. You know, watching cement dry ass tier lists. We ain't got that. We got our own type of categories. Let's go over them real quick. We have Shice, we have A1, we we have Brazy, we have Cold, and we have Dog Water, okay? If you guys don't know what any of these tierings mean, let's go all the way back up to the top. Shice means that's S tier. These are the best decks in the format. If you guys are playing this deck, you should not be losing. And these are all the decks that people are gonna be gunning out for you to purposely counter against you. Shice are the best decks in the format. And yeah, let's go ahead and get straight to our next one, which is A1, which is tier one. Brazy is tier two, Cold is tier three, and Dog Water is actually just trash. Trash! Know your fucking place, trash. Fucking robots. I mean, if you're actually playing a Dog Water deck, you might as well go to all your local tournaments that you guys are all going to with a Pokemon deck at this point. Bring the Lugia deck and try to compete if your deck is Dog Water. Okay, fact, not an opinion. Okay, sorry, not sorry. Every deck cannot be good so if your deck is not on this list i will make a rogue tier list for you guys this is for the cream of the crop best deck list or decks in the opo 8.5 and we don't got time to be going over bullshit just for me to put in dog water so if you guys do want to see a rogue tier list just go ahead and let me know below the first deck we have right now is probably you know like i said it's not dog water okay it is kind of playable but it's in cold king isn't really doing anything the purple black combo isn't really i mean it's strong but is it really strong because even in op09 the brand new cracked purple black luffy is still not doing anything so i think there's just something inherently wrong with the purple black colors together they just aren't meshing right but king is absolutely doing nothing it isn't dog water dog water is for decks that literally just don't do anything but king definitely goes in cold you'll probably never see this in a tournament fact that opinion the number one deck of the format, which is going to be the number one deck of the format of OPO 8.5, OPO 9, and OP 10, is Doflamingo. Doflamingo with the structure of the deck literally just fucks everybody's bitch at this point. I mean, if you want a shicey ass deck that's going to be the number one deck for probably until April of 2025, this is the deck. Even with the latest OPO 9 tournament that just happened like i think it was like a band uh bandai card fest something like that that went on over the past last weekend dofi had the most tops and then on top of all of that in opo 9 they're still using the list from opo 8.5 so with that being said dofi is going to be the best deck in the format fact not an opinion probably until next year so if you guys do want to have the best deck going into the structure decks this is the deck to choose there's no other deck better than this out there okay Dofi just fucks everybody's bitch, as he should, because I'm gonna be real with you. He's probably one of the most base villains of all time in the anime, okay? Dofi, best deck of the format, and this is the deck that uh, people are gonna be gunning out purposely just trying to counter, okay? Next deck we have is Vegapunk. Vegapunk is also in cold. I don't really see this ever popping up. And um, actually, I'm actually not even gonna really talk too much about a lot of these decks in cold to be honest with you because i feel like we have so many other good decks we need to talk about i feel like we're just gonna be wasting our time if it's in cold i'll put this in the rogue okay so if you guys see do see your deck here we're just gonna put it in rogue we're gonna have a rogue tier list for you guys okay next deck we have right here is black and yellow luffy 
I would we, let's put this in Shice. I feel like this is the back of Shice, just being able to have the cycles out with the Sabo, the five drop Ace, and also the five drop uh, Luffy and both Luffy's actually very very strong deck. Just being able to have a 9K leader off rip late game is also very cracked. Very very base deck. Is it the best deck? No. I feel like Dofi is really really gatekeeping a lot of these decks but it still can compete i feel like it's in the back of this let's go ahead and continue and now one of my personal favorites this is the deck i kind of learned the game on it's still doing things in the meta to be honest with you guys i'll probably put it at the back i'll probably put it at the back of a1 or possibly at the top i'll put it at the top of brazen until we start adding more and now just being able to abuse that leader effect this is kind of reminds me of a nami type of deck if you don't know how to play against the nail more likely you're going to lose always having extra life every single time especially if you can replenish with things like yamato katakuri or ace on top of all the crazy triggers that this deck runs i mean you end up running the crazy triggers like capone um five drop luffy nami uh shirahoshi uh onami i mean anel's a very strong deck it's just you know the only good matchup you have is really dofi so if you guys do plan on going into a large regional or some type of big event where you guys think a lot of dofi is going to be there and now has a very very good matchup into doflamingo so if this is something that you guys purposely just want to counter the meta and now is definitely the best deck to counter the meta because it has a very very favorable matchup into doflamingo so if this is something that you guys are interested in using and now is also a great choice one thing about now is that it has a good Good matchup into Dofi, but everything else he kind of lackluster or hard against. Has a hard time against Luchi, BY Luffy, Bonnie, Nami, etc. etc. So if you guys are really just specifically trying to counter this Doflamingo deck, and now is probably the way to go. Okay. The next deck we have right here is Uta. Uta with the structure deck support is decent. I'll put it in the back of Breezy. Not nothing too crazy i'm mean, being able to withstand your characters or leader is also very very strong being able to abuse a lot of the green cards like the basil hawkings the zoros you know things of that nature are very very shicey as well it's just i'm just not a fan of this uta deck i feel like it's very gimmicky and if you play against somebody that actually kind of knows what uta is doing a lot of the times you're going to lose because usa I don't know i'm just not a fan of uta decent deck it's not in cold but you know with the structure deck it does kind of get a little bit of support but for all this i'll rather just play bonnie's too much work and effort going to this just for you to lose to one of these topping decks white beard i feel like white beard's always just going to be in breezy it's never going to be in cold never going to be a one it might move up when it comes to uh op09 because it does get some support but white beard i mean it's white beard uh it, it's a six six life leader 6k attack the biggest thing i don't like about whitebeard is that if you play against a deck that spams out high character costs you can really just drain your hand very very quickly and if you drain your hand and you end up taking your life every single turn nine times out of ten you're gonna lose the game i feel like whitebeard almost got power crap out of the the whole entire meta it's still a very viable option but if you guys are playing red i suggest you guys probably try to play like zoro at that point okay next deck we have right here is our first deck at a1 and i feel like it's definitely rage you very skillful deck one of the hardest decks to use in the game fact not an opinion i'll probably have to sit this right behind luffy these two decks right here that you guys see on the screen now are the two hardest decks in the whole entire game to play the only thing that's a problem with this rage you deck is the bricking if you do not see stage you don't see your judge or you don't see your nichi g you're really gonna have a hard time and more likely lose and that's the only reason why this deck kind of bricks and when we actually talk about a very very long pace tournament where we're talking about seven eight nine ten rounds the consistency factor comes into play when that happens okay so if we're talking about a long base type of tournament rage will always fall off because it's not consistent enough you'll end up bricking and if you don't end up high rolling you almost lose with this deck this deck really functions off high rolling with the knee ggs the stage and the judge so like i said earlier if you don't see any of those two out of three things you're probably gonna lose the game very very high skill ceiling type of deck but if i have to just keep it a stack with you guys it's still a one deck i don't feel like there's any other decks here that's probably better than raid you at the moment that we have vega punk we have two vega punks we're gonna put this right here i don't know why we have two next deck we have right here since we're talking about opio 8.5 i'm not sure if this sanji is going to be legal or not but opio 8.5 
they're actually going to have premium booster prb in that set so i'm not sure if the structure does come out and the new sanji leader comes out with the structure deck if it's going to be legal or not i'm not really too sure let me know but just for the off chance it is legal i'll have to put this you guys probably don't even know what this deck does to be honest with you guys i'm gonna just put this at the top of brazy i don't think it's a one i feel like i'm gonna top, put this at the top of brazy i played a lot of matches against this deck in op09 and this deck is pretty shicey to be honest with you rushes the board really really fast you can't use your flampy if you are a yellow deck user you know what i mean ygod user uh if you guys don't know what this leader does pretty much any of your characters that don't have any on play or any effects with a cost of things eight or lower you pretty much apply rush to that character so sanji very very strong type of deck i even heard some people said this this leader is going to be banned at some point i you guys clearly don't know what the fuck you're talking about uh this deck isn't that strong if anything i'll put it at the top of brazy really cool deck but i still don't think this deck is better than the zoo zoro you guys let me know if you guys do play red which red deck is better between this deck and zoro but i feel like zoro still has a little bit more of an edge compared to this sanji okay that's just my opinion let me know below vega punk is also a brazy i feel like vega punk is actually very very strong i don't know why a lot of people don't play oh i know why a lot of people don't play this ygod deck because a lot of times you play this deck you go on time just being able to play all your broken yellow cards such as the katakuri yamato's the aces and then also having a lot of broken triggers like the nami's the egg hag luffy um you know and just a couple of other type of egg hag characters it this deck is really really strong a lot of people just don't like playing it because you a lot of times you go into time and i can see why a lot of people don't like playing it because the last thing you want to do is go to a tournament go on time every single time that shit's annoying so very strong deck you know if it's something that you want off meta or something like that this is a very very good option for you and on top of that a lot of people don't know how to play against vega punk so that's also a surprise factor as well so if you guys are a vega punk user this is also a very very great deck for you to use for the opo 8.5 meta smoker is a one deck yes you heard me right smoker is a one deck if you guys look at the opo 9 and even opo 8.5 in the east when rp law was banned smoker has shot up i feel like it's the second best mono black deck out there in the streets with opo 8.5 you guys are probably wondering why it's because of the support from the structured deck he actually gets to shigi pretty much bypassing all the sabo the five cost sab black sabos effect so even if sabo does have the blanket protect where it can't be ko'd to shigi does not ko it just trashes your sabo so you could have the protection up it's not going to matter because to see he just comes out and just fucks everybody's bitch by trashing everything so smoker a very very great deck in my opinion if you guys do want to play another back deck that's not luchi this is a very strong option and on top of that it's one of the very first sets of the one piece guard game so if you guys have some type of nostalgic you know feelings towards this deck pick this thing up and start playing with it because i'm telling you right now when the structure that comes out smoker's gonna do some damage fact out of opinion and that's the reason why it's an a1 tier one next deck we have right here is pudding i feel like pudding is also in brazy we're gonna have a lot of decks in brazy because i'm gonna just reserve the shice and a1 tiers specifically for top tier meta decks pudding is not a top tier deck i don't know why a lot of people thought pudding was going to be a top tier deck i think in my last tier list i told you pudding is just not going to be i mean it's probably going to be decent but it doesn't get any real support with the structure decks coming out it's very slow yeah you could spam the big moms you could spam the nine drop lin lin you could you could spam the 10 drop kaido and lin lin but to be honest with you guys this deck's a little bit slow and it's just real gimmicky at that point okay so pudding this is exactly where it belongs in brazy next deck we have is marco so this is a high skilling deck just like raju this is a high skilling deck you actually need to know what this deck does if you guys did not see my latest video on this mark on how to beat this deck card at the top thumbnail on the screen right now tap in tap in i pretty much break down everything on how this deck works and how to play against it but in a nutshell this is a top tier deck if you do know how to pilot just being able to cheat out bigger cost monsters 
such as the white beard the silvers rally very strong being a, able to have a luchi effect with the five drop marco and have some type of recursion out of the grave by trashing one of your cards from your hand every time the card ends up leaving the leaving the field is very very shicey as well but like i said earlier with these other two decks right here like this one or this one you need to be a skilled pilot you need to know all your matchups when you're playing this deck because the biggest hindrance about this deck is that a lot of the effects that you end up having to activate with this leader you have the discard cards from your hand so you pretty much lower down all the cards in your hand and it's a four life leader okay those are the two weaknesses but if you can bypass that and be on some shicey ass time you know putting everybody in a pack this is something you probably should be tapping in with okay marco best red blue deck leader out there when it comes to opo 8.5 and even opo 9 so go ahead and tap in if this is something you're actually looking forward to this is actually one of my favorite decks to play against as well next deck we have right here is crocodile just not in the meta it's cold not gonna put it in trash i don't even think we're gonna really have any dog water type of actually i live we have one dog water deck here i'm not gonna tell you what it is let's go ahead and keep on going next deck we have right here is calgara uh i feel like calgara is definitely in tier one i don't think it's in brazy when we look at brazy yeah i don't i don't really see it being in brazy the only reason why i'm putting calgara here in a1 it's a budget deck number one number two a there's already tournament showings as well and all these decks at the bottom don't get any new support when it comes to the structure deck maybe a set force red sanji but we have to wait until to see when it actually comes out but calgara actually has tournament results it's showing up on the sim it's topping in regionals it's topping at your locals it deserves the a1 placement right here just being able to spam the board with big bodies with the eight with the i think it was a five or six drop calgara i forgot what cost it is but it has eight Hey, a power just being able to replenish the lines from norland very strong it's a glass cannon deck it has a lot of gas but it's a very glass cannon deck and like i said earlier you need to be a skilled pilot to play a lot of these decks because if you fuck up one time with any of these three decks more likely you will be losing the game fact not an opinion next deck we have right here is probably the best yellow deck in the format that's an actual mono yellow deck ygod ygod katakuri actually gets the support with the brand new structure deck with the five drop category releasing i think it's a blocker but even without the blocker in the support katakuri as a base is very very shisty in my opinion in my last tier list i was talking shit about i'm not tier list the top five decks i was talking shit on katakuri and everything but i was wrong you guys are right the streets are right katakuri proved himself and when i have to look when i take an l i'm just gonna take the l the streets was right katakuri proved itself and it deserves the a1 tier one placement okay if i had to choose between these two i'll probably put katakuri behind calgara okay i feel like calgara is probably better than katakuri when it comes to tournament showings but when opio 8.5 i think it actually might go above calgara we have to wait and see so the next deck we have is ace i'm gonna keep it real with you this is our first dog water deck i don't even know what this deck really does like that i feel like this deck won't even be used this deck is actually going to be trash there should be absolutely no reason in hell you should be running this ace deck if you do want to use a red deck just use prb sanji or just use zoro next deck we have is red yellow sabo red yellow sabo is definitely in brazy very very shicey ass deck i know a lot of people in the street love this deck i know some content creators love this deck very crazy and decent deck i don't think it's a1 or shicey but when opio 9 does come around this actually does get a boost now moving forward do i think sabo and opio 9 will be an a1 deck in opio 9 i still don't think it's going to be a a1 deck at opio 9 because you know when it comes to opio 9 there's such a big power creep going on in that set i feel like sabo is just going to stay here for a while but the thing about this deck and like all these other decks if you are a skill pilot you can surprise a lot of motherfuckers with this deck this deck is nothing to shrug on or frown upon if you know what you're doing you can take tournaments by storm and and the tournament results have actually proven that so if you are a red yellow sabo user all i gotta say is keep on keep on practicing you guys get support in opo 9 and on top of that make sure you get those brand new sabo dons because those sabo dons that was just released by bandai look shicey so so make sure you cop if you guys end up you know keep on playing this when it comes to opo 9 next deck we have right here is zoro i feel like zoro is a a1 type of deck it's definitely not in shice it will never be in shice just because as long as they're a top 
ranking black deck out there zoro will never be shisty but it is an a1 it's definitely not brazy definitely not brazy i talk a lot of shit about you know zoro is definitely the best deck of the format according to the sim number one deck of the format according to Zim. everybody knows this is the best deck i might as well just leave this here for the time being right it's definitely it's definitely in front of Look, 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 look at this. My, my computer, my the fucking website is lagging because I think it can tell that I'm bullshitting that there's no way. There's no way. Look at it. The, the fucking website won't even let me put Doflamingo there. That's because we already know it should always belong right here. But according to the Sim, this is the number one deck of the format. Fact, not an opinion. According to the Sim, just being able to abuse that zoo package and just being able to spam the board whenever you feel like it as well. Being able to close out the games with dragons, very, very shicey. And yeah, I feel like it actually might be the best red deck of the format the thing about red i feel like red is like playing one piece of training reels in my opinion a lot of these red decks is literally like playing one piece with training wheels there's really no thought behind playing zoro at all and i know a lot of other top players can agree with me as well and um yeah if you guys do log zoro prove me wrong that you know it, it's not like that but for right now where it stands and based off of previous tournament resorts post op 8.5 in the east zoro i mean it's topping but it's not a shy cs deck it's definitely an a1 where it belongs next deck we have right here is perona i feel like perona is definitely probably the best brazy deck it could be an a1 but you don't really see too many people playing perona uh just for the simple fact that if you are playing black why would you play perona when you could play you know luchi you could play you know blacky yellow luffy but i've always liked perona i've always been a fan of perona definitely by far the most shiestiest deck out there in the streets just being able to rest any four cost of lore being able to play all the broken green cards such as green zoro being able to pop stuff for ryuma being able to use gecko to use the gecko to bring back the ryuma because it is a four drop very very shiesty even the best player of all time that won the world's championship i think it was last year or this year said that this is the best deck in op 08.5 i don't know if he was joking or not maybe he was maybe he isn't but he claims that this is the best deck in op 08.5 going into op 09 and uh i don't really don't even see i don't i don't think that's true because op 09 dofi is the best and if we're still talking about the best deck in op 08.5 Dofi doesn't even use anything from OP09. So if that's the case, this will still always be the best deck in the format. I feel like it's the best sleeper deck of Brazy or just in the One Piece card game, but I don't think it's definitely not the best. Kaido, I have big hopes for Kaido, but it just hasn't been proving um, anything. And I don't even know why, to be honest with you, bro. I'm a big fan of Kaido. Kaido's actually one of my favorite characters in the anime. You know, I've always hoped that, you know, Kaido became a yellow character or just semi-decent, but for some reason, this deck is still lacking. I, 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 I'm a look, 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 gang. I'm a big fan of Kaido, but I have to call it how it is. Kaido's just not performing at all. Nobody's even using it, so it's going in cold. Bonnie is an S tier deck. I feel like it's definitely an S tier deck. A lot of people have been sleeping on Bonnie, including myself. And I have to keep it honest with you guys. I have to keep it 100 bonnie has been showing up bonnie won the regionals i think of mexico me regionals the latest op09 tournament that just happened bonnie was on the team and they didn't even use anything from op09 i feel like bonnie is definitely a top tier deck i honestly may even think that's even above by luffy okay i feel like these two decks are definitely where they need to be sitting just being able to have that capone effect slow down the game they are no longer using the nine drop zoro they are now replacing the nine drop zoro with the 10 drop dofi pretty much freezing three characters that are already rested on the field being able to use the basil hawkins being able to use the cavendish and the main card that this deck is really abusing at the moment is the carrot just being able to slow down the game state to the point where you bring out your dofis turn after turn and winning on your time okay that's the big thing about bonnie slowing down the game to the way you want to play and honestly i feel like it's a shy cs deck i think it's an s tier deck in my opinion when it comes to op 08.5 now when we're talking about op09 this is probably gonna be an a1 deck but for right now this is definitely a shy cs deck now i'm telling you before you guys actually start seeing bonnie in the meta okay next deck we have right here is nami All right, well, that was a great breakdown of Nami. Let's go ahead and go straight to Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca, I feel like Rebecca... I don't know. I played against some shiesty ass Rebecca players, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. I played with some shiesty ass Rebecca players. Um, it could be... I actually, I'm gonna put it at the top of cold. Because when I look at all these other decks right here, Rebecca's better than all these different decks. But is Rebecca really better than Whitebeard, Uta, Vegapunk? No. 
Rebecca's not better than any of these characters right here. Maybe with the support that's initially going to end up coming out, maybe you know Rebecca will be good at OP10. But for where it sits right now, I feel like it stays right here. The main reason why Rebecca is really good because a lot of people don't know how to play against Rebecca. The only time people are really using Rebecca is when Sakazuki was running rampant and this deck literally countered rebecca but where it stands right now i mean yeah you have the blue black combo like sakazuki but just having a leader that can't attack without the new support that's coming on lpo 10 already i feel like this it, it just needs to stay right here i just don't like the, the fact that the leader just doesn't even attack gecko is definitely in brazy i'm not even going to even talk about too much about this gecko shiesty ass deck in my opinion i love gecko out of all the black decks that are out there, I love Gecko just because it has the delinquent duo effect. If you guys don't know what that means, this deck literally thrives on ripping the hand from your opponent. And like I said earlier in my Marco video, the biggest thing about this card game is hand size, hand size, hand size. This literally counteracts everything I just said and literally just rips all the cards from your opponent's hand so when you get the late game you're summoning your issues you're summoning your geckos you're summoning your jacks they're not gonna have no cards in the hand because you're already ripping the cards with perona okay so very very shiesty ass deck do i think it's the best second best black deck no but it's still shiesty i don't even think it might be no it's probably not in front of perona i'll probably leave it right here gecko very very strong deck not the best black deck but very good option if you guys do want to play gecko and yes smoker is still above gecko okay this is just a fact so don't start showing me any type of hate in the comments i've done my research i have over 2,000 hours playing in irl and also on the sim so yeah i know we're talking about dog water we're gonna put that right there we're not even gonna talk about that waste my time purple luffy hmm purple luffy is already doing shit in the meta right now if anything after these brand new structure decks come out i feel like purple luffy might even be let me see i think purple luffy i will put purple luffy is it i'll put it in front of i'll put it in front of jewelry body if you guys don't know why this purple luffy just got so much better is that out of all the structure decks that is releasing i feel like purple luffy has the best gameplay out of all of them okay that structure deck boosts them up with the sanji that's coming out the luffy taro but it's mainly that usopp that brand new usopp that's getting ready to come out is shiesty as hell i think it's the way it works is that if you have eight or less don you get the rest any character on the board so very very crazy card to use just being able to spin up a whole bunch of characters you could use as well being able to have access to magellan access to black maria access to the six cause sanji look there's a reason why purple luffy is the second or third best deck in the op09 meta at the moment and yeah op09 purple luffy does get a little bit more support but but for op08.5 i still honestly feel like this purple luffy is a shiesty ass deck i feel like it might be the third best deck in the format when it comes to op08.5 because the east didn't have this type of meta that we're having because they had rp law so since we do not have rp law this is the third best deck in the look the whole entire format for opo 8.5 until we get opo 9 so if you guys do want to play a deck that transitions over to opo 9 very very well these two decks are definitely the decks you guys probably want to be playing because this is the number one deck opo 9 and then this is the second or third best deck in opo 9 as well so definitely good options if you guys are looking forward to trying to play any of these two decks mainly this purple luffy that's what we're talking about yamato i mean i've been a lot of people talk about yamato honestly it's the it's in cold uh i don't know why a lot of people are hyping up this deck i mean yeah they just ended up having a nationals the france nationals the yamato there's only one but to be honest with you it could be the best of cold but let's be real why would you play this so you can play all these other decks okay yamato is going to be in my rogue tier list I'll, I'll just i'll just say that i'll just say that any of these decks like i said earlier are gonna be in my rogue tier list but yamato is just really not it i mean the double attack is cool but it really just loses the blockers yeah you can run the broken hody jones and you can run the crazy triggers with the double banish onami and all this other shit like that but you know i feel like uh, yamato kind of got power crap to be honest with you guys and you know there's nothing wrong with that it's just how the game works uh boa like i said this shit's going in cold because why would you play this when you can just play dofi rp luffy rp luffy is definitely going to go into brazy uh rp luffy has always been a good 
deck do i feel like it's going to be an a1 deck no do i feel like it's cold no i feel like this deck is perfectly fine at brazy just being able to abuse all the broken red and purple cards as well the only thing that i don't like about this deck is that it only has three life which can be a very very big hindrance and then on top of that rp luffy isn't really a deck like that until op09 so if you, this is another one of these decks to where if you guys do want to play for op08.5 going to op09 this is something you guys probably might want to look into to try to find a build for op09 because when op09 comes around purple this particular deck gets a lot of support so it's decent i'll probably say mid-level power in op08.5 but moving forward to op08 or not op08 op09 this is going to be a deck to look out for definitely a sleeper deck and uh if you know your lines you could definitely perform next deck we have <laughs> right now you guys already know i'm gonna put this you guys already know i'm gonna put this this is the second best deck in the format okay this is definitely the second best deck in the format uh the main reason why it's the second best deck in the format because right now it's the best deck in the format at the moment i already made a video on this on my why you know luchi might get banned but the main reason why this deck is still very very good is because it just it just flows perfectly this is the best black deck and it also counters dofi and the only way to really beat dofi is boar removal but even with all the type of power that luchi has with boar removal it still does not beat dofi on a consistent best out of 10 okay so you know if you guys do don't want to play dofi you guys still want to play luchi it's still going to be solid very good deck second best deck in the format hands down um and yeah, uh, it's really, I mean, you guys know what Luchi does. I really don't even need to talk about it. The biggest drop off for when it comes to decks, though, has to be this deck. This deck has to be like right here now. This deck used to be in Shiest, but the only reason why it was in Shiesty is because this was the best deck. Luchi was the best deck, and also Luffy was the best deck. Since these two decks will no longer be the best deck when Dofi comes out, this that means this deck is going to take a back seat. There's really no reason to play this deck. You play this deck to beat other black decks. If, blacks is num if black decks are not the best deck in the format, there's really no reason to play this deck. So like I said earlier in my meta watches, once Blue Dofi comes out, this is probably gonna fall off a cliff. I honestly might even think it's probably like the back of like right here. It might even be like right here okay and, and even in op09 this deck right here probably goes down to cold because there's really no reason to play this this literally this deck literally just gets power scaled out the whole entire meta and the last deck we have is blue yellow ice i'm gonna put this right here i'm actually a big fan of blue yellow ace unfortunate that's not really that much stronger just being able to abuse the life with uh viola is very very strong being able to have the blue tin drop white beard pretty much taxing every card on the field in order for them to attack you have to discard two cards from the hands also very shisty but you know when it actually compares to some of these other decks i don't really see this you know hanging with any of these other decks this is just a whole different scale if you guys do want to see a rogue tier list i'll be having one of those on the channel you know probably after when the structure decks do come out because i don't feel like making that you know tier list after tier list back at the back looks kind of cringe in my opinion but yeah this is the current tier list that we have for the opo 8.5 meta y'all so let me know below i feel like this is the proper ordering as well let me look at it right here this looks like the proper ordering as well because we have a because by luffy has a hard time into nami i'll probably put this right here actually i'll probably put it like this or maybe even like this i'll probably put it like this this is this so this is the correct tier list for opio 8.5 if you guys have any discussions that you guys want to talk about about a deck that didn't make it or you know any changes that needs to happen let me know below but just from my personal experience what i've seen in the east and just been what i've been playing against i feel like this is the most proper and accurate tier list going into opo 8.5 look that's all i got let me know below how you guys feel and yeah that's all i got but look before i go if you're feeling the vibes make sure you like comment and subscribe it all gone.